Hello, good people of YouTube. Uh, it's me again, Marina, coming with a, a haul video. Uh, it's voice over, or not voice over, but just speaking head over here that you can't see because, um, you know, my hair's not done. It is midnight. I have nothing else to do. And I went to Joanne today and I want to show y'all what I got. Uh, so first thing on my list uh, that I got from Joanne's today uh, was some more five, oh, actually no, never mind. I got that from Walmart. Uh, <laughs> it was on sale um, at Joanne's. So I said I'm gonna get that at Walmart. Anywho, um, the other thing that was on my wish list was uh, this simplicity pattern. Um, I saw this on YouTube and I thought, oh, that's so cute. Um, it's a little shoulder dragon and it's just a little dragon you can make out of felt and look like they can do all kind of things with it with fur and all kind of faux fur and everything to embellish it and um, it's just a little dragon that sits on your shoulder. So I have some minky fleece left over um, from um, the teddy bear project um, and some other, um, I'm sure I'm going to have some extra um, fleece from another project I'm going to do um but uh so I should definitely be able to get this little buddy made it looks so cute I can't wait uh the next pattern I got today um also aka um the Sim um uh, simplicity and butterwicks uh patterns were on sale today so I went and got me some uh so this is another pattern that was on my wish list that was actually available um it's the butter butterwick pattern 6677 and I saw a few of the gals had um, this pattern on the Facebook now if I just pull up me give it a try it says it's easy but let's see I'm still kind of a baby sewer so we'll see if I can do this will be a cute little summer dress um this is gonna take a lot of fabric let me see yeah, it's going to take uh, quite a few yards, um, but I'll try it in the short scale first. If I can do that, then we can go for the maxi lips, which is really cute. Another um, pattern I saw, uh, this wasn't on my wish list. The, um, the shirt I preferred that was on my wish list was not there, so I had to look through the books to find something similar. Um, and this is what I found because I wanted something that had kind of like a cute sleeve, but also had the, what's this called, a pleplum, pleplum, um, bottom. And, um, this was the only thing I can find that was on sale, you know, either Butterick or, uh, Simplicity. And I thought, um, maybe I should just, maybe I should try the easy version first because I think the other one that I wanted, um, the sleeves look really, um, um complicated uh so maybe this easy pattern will be a good starter for me and then um i probably have to go to the joe ann's that's on the other side of town um to get the um the pattern i need because the this joanne's closest to me never really has the patterns i usually have to go to the other joanne's to get what i want but in order to make this style uh let me show you the fabric i have i got this um, African fabric off Etsy and um, it's so pretty I got about six yards of it and I want to make a cording outfit for me and my kids um, so I want to do like another style of dress but this uh, fabric I think is too heavy uh, for what I originally wanted to do with it um, but I think that um, if I do this in like um, this shirt for me with some, a simple black pant and then uh, for the kids, I can make them like um, some skirts um, with a black top. And then we can all be all matchy matchy. But I thought this was such a beautiful and bold pattern. I like the bright colors with the, I guess the dark, um, very vibrant. Um, the color is very, very vibrant. Um, I did a rub test. I kind of hand washed it a bit with some vinegar to make sure that, um, the color is set and it is pretty set. Um, I got it for a pretty good price. I'm very happy with uh, with the purchase. Let's see if I'm very happy with um, how it turns out with this top. Okay. And 
Uh, let's see what else I got. Uh, also on sale was the fleece. So I got a few uh, cuts of fleece for um, the project I'm going to do. I shared with you in my last video a little um, a softy um, that I wanted to make a little plush with the little animals. And my daughter's been begging me to make her little unicorn or the little um, Pegasus, she calls it, because, you know, she's my little pony. So she said, well, it has horns and wings. That means it's this or it's that. It's not a unicorn. I'll, I'll let her kill it. But um, I got um, that. Let me make enough to make two. And I know she likes rarity um, as far as the My Little Pony. So I was like, I'll make um, one with a purple body and um, purple mane and a white body and a pink mane. And um, got the little yellow for the horn. And, um, and I'll use white for both of them, um, both of their wings. Or I may use yellow wings for the white one and white wings wings for uh, the purple one. Also, I have another pattern idea I wanted to do for my other daughter. Um, she's autistic and um, she doesn't like to keep her clothes on all the time. Uh, she's a free spirit that way. Uh, so a lot of her clothes have to have uh, buttons and zippers to kind of give us time <laughs> to get on the scene before she's completely undressed. So I um, have a pattern for some kind of like jumpsuit style pajamas. Um, so I thought I'll make her a couple of house uh, outfits um, that she could wear that's comfortable. Um, the flannel was on sale for like two something at Joanne. So I got a couple of yards. Um, I think for the pattern, it calls for two and a half yards. But that's for it to make it into like a pant. We're in Texas. It's hot. We're not going to be wearing no pants, you know, like that. So I thought I'd make it like more of a, a knickerbocker length. And the pattern also is long sleeves. So I'm going to make it short sleeve. So probably won't have to use as much yardage. Um, so I got this print, which was really cute. Um, cute little snuggy um, flannel. I thought that was really cute for her. I also got this boom um, beige. This I think this was the blizzard fleece as well. So yeah, it's gonna be really warm, um, but it's super super soft. So I'm definitely gonna be shorts and short sleeves, but it'll be cozy, um, soft, won't irritate her skin. Um, I didn't want to get a cotton because it felt like the cotton was a little bit too rough. Um, but I thought this flannel and this fleece would do nicely. So I'll try to make a set out of each of this for her. Um, I got some coordinating, um, buttons for each one. Um, so yeah, this one for this one and this one for this one, um, to go with it. And, um, once I do these patterns, if y'all want me to kind of, you know, I'm a baby sewer, so I'm, I'll, I could try to do a review for you guys. Yes, I got my old ratty house robe on um do a little review uh for the patterns that i complete so that you can see how how simple it was if me a baby sewer can understand then you can understand it too um so um so that's um almost it i got also some interfacing by the yard um they made me some interfacing for some of this so i got a little lightweight interfacing about a yard of that and um woohoo look what i got elastics i bet y'all ain't never seen no elastics in a while i know i haven't it's not in the stores um they have some elastic over there hidden behind the counter um good thing for me the lady next to me asked for some i was like oh shoot some elastic let me get some i'm out of the mask making business i'm not making no more masks unless maybe a family member asked me for something Maybe I can throw one together for them, but I'm, you know, it's not a passion project for me. It's, you know, too political these days. Um, so I just need this for a lot of little outfits. I want to make the little baby outfits I told y'all about on my last video. Um, calls for a lot of elastic. Well, this is heading over to 10 minutes. That's all I got from the stores today, you guys. But hit me up in the comments if you want me to 
going to do any reviews on any of these patterns that I've completed. Um, this is past week. I did two dresses. I did um, my daughter's birthday dress, um, which I'll be happy to showcase with you guys. I also completed a dress for myself, which, funny story, I'll tell y'all about that if you ask for it, or maybe later on, I'll post it. Um, and a third dress that is almost complete. I thought I was going to have to redo it completely, but then I pulled out my tinkering hat and said, I can take this in because I did a dress. I thought I had it measured right. It was like 15 sizes too big, but I went back in, redid the darts and kind of altered it and it fits like a glove so I can finish it so hopefully I'll be able to finish it and showcase it for you guys okay we're walking on 11 minutes but thank you guys for watching sharing uh, like and subscribe and comment down below bye